Hello everyone. This is my name is Sanjay Kumar Khadanga and this is my capstone project Telecom Chon Analysis. So let's start. So here is the content. First, we understand the business problem, then our objective of this uh, project and the brief summary of data and the exploratory data analyst that is ETA and what, uh, while, whatever the challenges while we're doing this project and some recommendation according to our analysis and conclusion and q &A. So if I talk about the business problem, then the customer churn in the telecom industry was just one of the most significant risks to the lost revenue. And the average churn rate in telecom industry is approximately 67% annually and it's 2% per month as a survey conductor. Since the customer acquiring is a more complicated task and it is the uh, cost also 25 times higher than the cost of re retaining the existing customer. So reducing the churn rate or retaining the customer is the most key area in the telecom sector. To reduce the customer churn, telecom companies doing the data analysis, they predict which customer are at high risk to of churn of this and we, they take this uh, advantage and they take measures to retain their customers. In this project, we aim to analyze the data to determine the cause of customer churn and who are most likely subject to churn and what to do to retain the most valuable customer of the telecom industry. And moving forward, this is our the objective to maximize the company's profit by retaining the customer and minimize the churn by identifying the key cause of the problem. And this is our business constant to achieve this maximize minimize goal. First is to provide offers and discount and improve the service quality without compromising the profit, company's profit and to maintain the brand value of the company. So this is our objective. Next is the data summary. Here is our target variable that is John, which is decision variable. And this is our uh, uh, categorical variable, categorical data, three of them. This is the nominal data. And these are the numerical data of our data set. Next is the data summary. This is data summary of the, we have the data of the Orange Telecom Company, John data set. And below this table, this upper table is the top five rows of the data set. And below is the top, bottom five rows of the data set. And next is if I talk about the features of our data set, then state instead there is 51 unique a state are present and in account length, the length, the time duration, the customer use their account. And in area code, there are only three, only three unique area code are present. International plan and voicemail plan, these both column are categorical feature. Yes means the customer who take the plan. No means the customer doesn't take that plan. And number of voicemail messages means the customer make the number of voicemail messages by him or her. So to, these are the 12 columns of total day, evening, night, international, minutes, call, charges. So these are the 12 columns, all are numerical in nature. And these are uh, uh, valuable data set. <clears throat> and next is the, our customer service call. It is a number of calls made by the customer to the operator service center to resolve their issue. And last is the churn. It is our target dependent variable. Having, it's having a Boolean data type of true and false. Next is our, to analyze, we analyze the dependent variable that is churn. So here it is the uh, donut uh, plot and uh, right side is the count plot. In donut plot, it shows the turn percentage and count plot, it shows the number. Here is the total users. Total users are 3,333 customers are there, out of which 2,850 are non churn customer. And 483 customers are churned. So it also shows that in donut chart, there are 
15 approximately 15 percent customer who are churned customer and 85 customers are not churned so next is our column is the state column this is the uh, state data set uh, churn data set to each column and it's a confluence shows that um, after analyze the this data we came to a point that there are some state uh, which where the churn rate is more so in our next slide we saw that there is the six top six state where the churn percentage is more than 21 percent so we include uh, this uh, graph and uh, we also work on this uh, state to improve the customer uh, satisfaction and next is our account length this uh, this uh, plot shows the relation between account length and churn um, so in a red line it's a con churn customer and in blue line it shows the not churn customer and yellow line the all distribution so we can clearly see that there is no variance in churn customer and not churn customer also there is no sign that the customer is living because of the account length there is no relation so we move to next our slide that is the area code and this area code in this uh, plot we can clearly show that there, there are three only three area code are present in three uh, columns there the churn rate is almost the same in all of this area code like there is no variance there is no any kind of relation we can uh, pull out from this uh, data so we going forward to next next is our analysis of voicemail plan there are uh, approximately 28 percent are customers who take the voicemail plan and approximately 72 percent is who did not take that plan in our next column there is the show the relation between the voicemail plan and the churn customer and in interesting fact is that uh, how means uh, the total customer are there are 3333 uh, people are, are there and out of uh, 3,333 customer, 922 having voice plan and out of 922 people who have the voice plan, out of them 8.7% are churn customer. So definitely there is an issue in voice plan. plan. Maybe there is some uh, a quality issue or maybe some price issue are there. That's why the customer leads to churn. Next slide is the number of voice versus churn. It is the box plot showing the relation between the number of voicemail messages and the churn. And in, uh, here it can clearly uh, see that after the 20 voice, the customer made the 20 voicemail messages, then definitely there is a churn issue. We can say that whenever the customer make a 20 voicemail messages, then uh, there is he or she may be face any kind of issue. That's why they list to churn. So in our international plan, next column is the international plan. And here you can see that there is a 10% are customer who take the international plan and rest amount the 90% are who did not take the international plan. And if I compare with the international plan with the churn, and this is the plot we can see here. And next is the, our percentage, churn percentage according to the international plan. And right side table shows the churn percentage and here we can clearly see that the customer who take the international plan that is one uh, uh, one thousand uh, uh, the customer who take the international plan that is uh, uh, the ten percent people out of them forty two percent are leads to churn. That means uh, there is some problem in international plan also because in highly because there is uh, uh, some network issue or high price issue may be there that's why it affects the churn rate of the telecom operator uh, the international plan so next uh, slide is our customer service calls versus churn this plot shows the number of customer uh, service customer make the service uh, call to the service center and their churn percentage and next slide is the here it the shows the churn percentage according to the number of calls they made to the service center and here we can clearly see that after four calls 
after four calls the churn percentage is more increasing like it's 45 percent four or more calls and we can say that the customer with more than four service calls their chance of churn out is more and there is a serious problem in service center because the customer who uh, take who made a call to the service center definitely he or she face any kind of issue and their issue is not solved that's why they unsatisfied with the telecom uh, operator that's why they leads to churn the percentage that's why the percentage of churn is high so moving to next slide so price uh, call price play a important role in telecom industry and uh, here we analyze that also so this plot this uh, these are the box plot here the left side we compare with the total day minutes to the churn and in the right side we compare the total day charges to the churn and in a left block plot we can clearly see that the customer when the customer spend more than 225 minutes that is approximately 4 hours uh, uh, spend in the telecom operator then definitely there is leads to be churn that means when and uh, clearly the customer who have high call minutes then definitely he are, uh, she has the high call price also and here also the trend we can see that in the right side plot so you can say that the customer who make the uh, more spent the more times in the operator and he leads to churn means he face any kind of issue that may be call drop issue network issue or some price issue also because that's why they so these are the valuable customers because they generate the revenue and if the we lose this kind of valuable customer then there is a huge loss for the operator the company so we are uh, moving forward to next slide this is uh, plot so the scatter plot shows the relation between the same day charges and day minutes here we can clearly also see that after 225 minutes the there are some churn issue are there but in uh, evening minutes we cannot uh, say anything because there is no variance in this uh, data and also in uh, night minutes to the night charges also we cannot say any kind of uh, relation between the churn rate to this uh, data also but uh, in international minute intention there definitely there is uh, some uh, high price uh, uh, issue there we can analyze in in our next slide in our next slide we comparison all charges per minute of all the uh, data available uh, so in uh, in this plot we can clearly see that the international charges the red box the red bar the international call charges are high as compared to other it's an obvious thing but uh, that may be caused for an international plan customer to churn out because uh, this is too much and even in day charge obviously uh, many customers make their call in daytime that's why this uh, plot is high but in uh, international bar we can clearly say that the, there is some high price issue are there so moving to our next slide is the correlation matrix so here you can relate the each variable to the other variable and here we can clearly see that the cost the variable effect to the churn most is the total day minutes and the total day charge and the customer service call and we need to work on this area because this is the most affected to the churn <clears throat> so moving to the next uh, so there is some challenges uh, are there while we are doing this project we face many kind of challenges uh, like uh, difficult to analyze the, the columns like uh, account length in account length it's a numerical variable but when we analyze that uh, column we did not found any kind of variance or any kind of related to the churn uh, rate so we cannot say any kind of thing to this uh, variable and also in area code there is the uh, churn rate is almost the same in all three area code there is only three unique area code present but in uh, three you uh, area code there is uh, churn rate is almost same so we cannot have pull out some kind of insight from this uh, column 
so and in uh, if i talk about the calls category then we need uh, we do some huge kind of uh, graph plot graph and in uni multivariate analysis also we plot a lot of graphs uh, to analyze the data to understand the data and uh, uh, for uh, call data there is uh, no direct relation in uh, maximum uh, call data there is no direct relation to the churn rate so we say that the uh, these columns are did not play any kind of role in the churn rate so next is our conclusion after analyze the vast uh, amount of data we have some conclusion here uh, there are some state where the churn rate is high as compared to others maybe due to low network coverage obviously and here the area code and account length these columns did not play any kind of role regarding the churn rate we did not find any kind of insight in this and in international plan those customers who have this plan are churn more and also the international calling charges are high as compared to others so the customer uh, who has the plan on satisfied with the network issue and high call charges and in voicemail plan section, when the customer make 20 voicemail messages, then there is a churn, uh, there is churn. So basically it means that the quality of voicemail uh, plan, voicemail messages or the charges of this plan are maybe little bit are higher. And the customer who have the, who spent the maximum time in day times, uh, he leads to be uh, the we can clearly see in our data the, the customer who spent more time in day he leads to be churn after four hours so, so definitely we can say that there is some also issue in the day plan uh, day plan and day charges and in um, most is the in customer service call data shows us that where whenever an unsatisfied customer call the service center the churn rate is high which means the service center did not resolve the customer issue we can see we can see in our data and in our analysis after four calls the customer made to the service center then after the churn rate percentage is 45 percent that is more than enough so that's the thing uh, we conclude uh, in our analysis and next is some recommendation after we analyze all these things some recommendation are to improve the network coverage in most of churn state area there are uh, uh, some six states are there where 21 percent and so on are there so we need to improve network coverage and in international product, provide some discount to those customers who talks more and who take the plan to or feedback from them and improve the voicemail quality and uh, frequently take feedback from the customer uh, uh, regarding their voicemail quality or voicemail issues and provide some discount to those customers who spent more minutes in day times because these are the valuable customers they provide they generate the revenue to the company that's why they are the most valuable customers so provide some discount and offers to this customer that's why they satisfy with the operator and next is to improve the service quality because the uh, unsatisfied customer who call the service center after the service area after the they get their service they also leads to unsatisfied and irritated that's why they leads to change so uh, recommendation is that to take the feedback from the customer regarding their issue and try to solve as soon as possible so these are the recommendation here uh, we can uh, pull out from this analysis and uh, next is our q a and uh, thank you for uh, having patience with me till here Thank you very much. That's it.